Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Hukia Holybro RX 5808 Pro Diversity Receiver for the Fetcha goggles. I've been using the Real ACC RX 5808 for the last 6 months, maybe 7 months or so and recently I also checked this Pro 58RX receiver from Ishin which performed quite surprisingly well. However, the main downside for the Real ACC, it doesn't fit so well inside the goggles and it feels a little bit clumsy. So at first when I saw the Holybro Hukia, I thought to myself, maybe it's gonna be an upgrade and probably it's going to fit much better inside my Fetra goggles. So I decided to buy them. Inside the package, we're getting the main core, which is going to be on the right side. The left model is going to be where the head truck motor is supposed to be connected. And we also got this wire that connects between the two models and this sticker that is going to be on the front of the goggles. In addition, we get in the instruction manual and that's about it. In order to use both models, first you have to connect them together using the ports that are located here on the right model. And on the left model, it's located over here. So you'll have to loosen this screw in order to connect it. So first remove this screw, then connect the wire over here. And then you need to reconnect this part. Then connect the other model over here. And now we just need to connect it to the fetch of goggles. And now to connect the left part, we need to remove this cover and just connect it like that. So actually it's going to be a problem for you to fit inside the way it is. So what you need to do first, disassemble this part, then put it like that. And only then you need to press it and it will be okay. Be careful not to apply too much force because you don't want to break anything. So now it's connected properly. I thought about tightening the wires through the goggles but I don't think it's possible because it's coming through this end and you have to be careful also when you are connecting it because I also almost got this wire to be cut. So be careful and I don't think it's possible to wire it through the goggles. So what you need to do, you need to put this sticker on top just to make everything more beautiful. But first let's make sure that the model is working properly. So you can see it's working. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the sticker because I think this is the model that I'm going to keep only for the fact that it fits amazingly inside the goggles and is not as loose as the RX 5808 used to be. Before putting the sticker, you should twist the wire. Then it's going to be much, much easier for you to cover it up. I didn't do such an excellent job, but maybe I will just need to remove it and leave it the way it is, even though I think that the, these wires need to be covered with something, otherwise it can risk it. Eventually I decided just to cut it in this manner on the stripes and just put it, and maybe I'm going to remove it eventually, but we'll see. So let's power on the goggles and see all the menus of this receiver. Okay, so when you load it, it searches for the best band, so you can set it on manual mode. We have auto search, we have band scanner that just selects the best mode, best signal. Then we have diversity. We can choose either auto, receiver A or receiver B. We'll leave it in auto. And the last thing is the setup menu. We can order by channel or frequency, beeps on and off. The sign, you can change the, your name. Let's set it to Kramer. And we have calibrate RSSI. You know, to calibrate the RSSI, you will have to turn on a 25 millibar transmitter about one meter to half a meter from the receiver. And you need to do it without the antennas on. So let's do it quickly. So I just turned on this quadcopter. It has a 25 milliwatt transmitter. I'm gonna put it half a meter away from us. And now we need to hit calibrate RSSI. And now it's going to search for the best band and it was locked on B7, which is actually not the right one. Let's scan it again. And F7 is the correct band, so that's good. Now when it's connected, we can see here A and B. A is this module and B is this module. Let's see that it's working. When I'm hiding this module, now A is working. And if I will, this was closer, now B is working. So you can see that it actually switches between the modules correctly. Now I think that the Holybro Hukia can be flashed with an external firmware, like the Achilles firmware. There is a flashing port on the bottom, uh, but I will need to test it out to see if it's working. Now the next thing, next thing I'm gonna do 
I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to compare it with the real FCC RX 5808 using this module which I've used with the RX 58 from Ishin. The real question is if there is any improvement on the signal, on the received signal. But what I can tell you for sure that this module fits much much better than the RX 5808 and it does fit inside the case so it doesn't interfere us in any manner so you can still store it in the fetcher case so that's good so it's not too bulky and also the screen is much much bigger and readable than the RX, RX 5808 it cost about 20-30 bucks maybe more than the real ACC 5808 but again we'll have to see how it will perform on the field to see if we if it's good or not so in the next video I'm going to put a side by side video so stay tuned I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about this receiver feel free to ask it in the comments section below and I'll see you on my next videos goodbye